This episode of Scam Nation brought to you by our friends over at Skillshare. Click on the link below and the first 1,000 of you lucky ducks will get a free trial membership to Skillshare Premium. Go. I feel terrible that we missed a week, but not as terrible as I feel about the fact that you're able to wear my old shirts. Yes. That This is season one scam school shirt. Yes. And now you're wearing it. And now I'm growing my hair out, and so we're just looking more and more alike. Yep. All right, look, it's one of my all-time favorites from our friend Diamond Jim Tyler. It's in his book, Bamboozlers, and for it, you just need some change. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the pennies. Do me a favor, close, close your eyes, look over there. Look over there. Close right, my right. eyes and look over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How do I All look right. if my eyes well, are closed? While you're looking over there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a prediction. I'm gonna steal some of these pennies. I'm not gonna tell you how many. I'm not gonna let you hear how many. In I fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna try to throw you off. Okay? All right. All right, I've got my prediction. You can turn around. I want you to think of any two digit number from one to a hundred. Got it. Okay, you got it? Mm -hmm. All right, so you're thinking of a number. I want you to take the two digits of your first number, add up those two digits, and subtract that amount from your first number. And that'll give you a new number. I For example, if you're thinking of 13, you would add up one and three, and then subtract that from 13. Oh, okay. okay. All right, so you have, a, you have a new number yes, now. Yes, I got it. Okay, great. Now, I want you to take the two digits of that new number and add them up. And that'll give you a final number. Just got it. the digits, okay? Take that final number, I want you to divide it in half, exactly in half. Got it. <laughs> Josie, you remember before you even picked a number, I made a prediction using these pennies. Mm -hmm. Would you be amazed if the number of pennies in my hand exactly matched your number? Yes, I would be very amazed. Would you buy me a drink? Sure, I mean. Okay, not what <laughs> is the number you're thinking of? 4.5. What? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I was not expecting half a penny. Right? <laughs> yes. Okay, so on scale of impressiveness, where do you rank it? I would rank it like 10 out of 10, that's crazy. <laughs> Are you ready to learn this? Yes. All right, then you just gotta toast me. Boom. Here's a mentalism trick for you. You are watching Scam Nation because you like to learn, because you want to better yourself as a person, and you appreciate high quality tutorials. Well, guess what, my friend? In the wild west of the internet, that's hard to come by. That's why I love our friends over at Skillshare. Thousands of incredible tutorials from people at the top of their game, a genuine learning community of creatives who are making themselves better every single day. I love all of the courses over there. In fact, do me a favor, click on the link below. That'll set you up with a free premium trial subscription for only the first thousand of you. So if you're 1,001, sorry, too bad, so sad. But for the first thousand, I want you guys to learn the fundamentals of telling beautiful stories using cinematography. DIY Cinematography by Ryan Booth is fantastic. It's all about how to make your video look like a movie. And that's thanks to our friends over at Skillshare. Click that link below, get in on that free trial. After that, it's only around $10 a month. Thank you, Skillshare. All right, so there's two parts to this. The only gimmick you need is to carry around a half penny with you at all times. If you wear jeans, you can put it in that tiny pocket in there and to make it is really easy. I've actually taken just regular kitchen shears and been able to cut through them because a penny is not copper all the way through. It's actually zinc coated in copper. So in this case, we've got one of these wire clippers. And in fact, here, do you want to do it? Let's hope you just I'm wanna... strong. No, 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 you don't even have to be that strong. We're just going to kind of cut Lincoln right in half, because then that looks good, because you can see half a face, or you can see half of one cent on there. Mm -hmm. But do me a favor, just tuck that in there. <laughs> there you go. Your Herculean strength! <laughs> oh my god. All right, that's good. I think I think you got half of it done. Well. <laughs> okay, so open it up. Hopefully I did. So there you go, so you got half of that done. Now we're gonna flip it around. Please don't chop off your dad's <laughs> fingers. There you go, Clo Maybe I should like close it. it. Okay. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Kind of start closing it. You want to get it even, lined up. There you go. Now squeeze really good. Good, 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 good. <laughs> okay, all right, let's see it. Oh my God. <laughs> no. Oh. All right, so you got you got kind of halfway. And at this point, you could put it in a vise and just sort of knock it around. Here, I'll just go ahead and finish this off for you. Mm -hmm. We'll just kind of cut on this side. And then you just kind of break it off so you get half of a penny. 
All right, that's the only gimmick you need to have on you. And it's a little bit of an inconvenience. You could just take a penny, run out to the sidewalk and just grind it down so it's half oh, of wow. a penny as well. So in this case, you're gonna have this somewhere on your body. Okay, I have a trick up my sleeve. There you go, that's great actually. <laughs> Perfect. So that's there. Now remember, before you even begin with the number stuff, you have to lock in your prediction. And it's important that they be pennies because you think of pennies as inherently being the smallest unit whole number of currency, right? Yes. You never think of a half penny. So in this case, you begin by right in front of them saying, hey, I'm gonna make a prediction using these pennies. Turn around, I don't want you to see it. And then all you do is pull out four pennies and drop that half penny into your hand. You're all the way set. Now, remember to hold it out in front of them the whole time. Because if, if you're like this, then I might think, oh, you were mixing them around when I wasn't looking. This is the part you're gonna, just gonna have to memorize five steps, really it's two and two. You're doing the same thing twice, and then you'll say divide it in half. So think of doing the live long and prosper. So you're, you think of a number, you're gonna add the two digits together, and then you're gonna subtract it to get a new number. And I label it, I say, so you have a number. I want you to take your original number, add up the digits and subtract it from the original number, mm -hmm. and that will give you a new number. Now here is the big secret. Anytime you take any number between one and 100, and you add up the digits and subtract it from it, you end up with a multiple of nine. So let's try, let's try a few. So if I say 37, and I add up three and seven and subtract it, I get 27, which is nine times three. Mm -hmm. If I take 98 and I add those up, that's 17. 98 minus 17 would be 81. 81 is nine times nine. Now, do, do you know the, the secret magic about any multiple of nine? Uh, yeah, where you add them together and it equals basically nine with that's the thing. Right. That's why nines are my favorite. They're so easy to do for me. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite. Exactly. <laughs> okay, this is a force so that they end up with the number nine and then you do that last step of dividing it in half. So you have them pick an original number, add up the digits, subtract it from the original number, which gives you a new number. You're gonna add up the digits and then divide it in half. Okay. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna make you do all the steps from the beginning. All right, all right, talk me okay. through it. Okay, you're gonna pick a two digit number between one and a hundred. Got it. Okay, so, and then you're gonna subtract that amount from your secret number. Okay, what does that give me? That gives you your new number. Okay, got and it. And then you're going to add the, those two numbers, the two digits again. Okay, so what I say is, so you're thinking of a new number. You wanna anchor that new number and just say, forget about all that other stuff. Okay, and now you have a new number. Now you're just gonna anchor it and forget about everything okay, else. Okay, I'm only thinking of the new number, got it. Yes, and then you're going to add those two digits together. Of the new number? Yes. Okay, all right, I've added those two digits together. What do I do with and it? And then final step, you're going to divide it in half. Uh, okay, don't say divide it in half because I don't know if you're talking about the new number, the original number, or the number of the ad added digits. Okay, so now you have your new number. Yep. And then you're going to add those two di digits together. Of my new number. Of your new number. Got and it. then that sum, you're going to divide that sum in half. Just divide by two. Okay, all right, I got it. Now what? Now you're going to tell me your number. Oh, no, 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 you don't want no. me to tell, because here's the part. This is where I'm thinking of 4.5, but you want to act like you messed up. Just say, would you be amazed if that was exactly how many pennies I had in here? And that point, I'm like, well, clearly she screwed something up, because oh. there's no way she has 4.5 pennies. So now you have that number, that yes. final number, great. Um, would you be amazed if I had this no, that number in my hand? Oh, don't be ambiguous. Say, say, oh. would you be amazed if that was exactly how many pennies I had in my hand? Because you think of pennies as whole numbers like we were talking about. Would you be amazed if that was the exact amount of pennies I had in that hand? I would be blown away. It would be highly unlikely. I would buy you the toy of your liking. Pew. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's been holding for so long. That was, that was great. <laughs>